What is going on? My name is Mike, and today we're going to be reacting to some good and just downright concerning tattoo TikToks. I have no idea what we're going to stumble upon, but that's the fun in it, so let's get into it. Ugh, oh my god, forget the hair transplant and get a hair tattoo. I would, I would strongly go against that. I wouldn't call this trendy, but I've been seeing a lot of these types of tattoos recently, and especially on TikTok. So TikTok, you're influencing people to get this. Now, I understand some people get this done as a joke, but I can't tell if this guy is actually getting it done to think that it might look like real hair, because he probably soon realized after getting this tattoo done that it doesn't look like hair at all. Hopefully he can grow some hair back to cover up this tattoo, or hey, maybe you do have to go get that hair transplant to cover up this disaster. My daughter thinking I'm ripping off my tattoo, taking off the Saniderm, which you should not be taking off the Saniderm like this. Aww. <laughs> tattoo doesn't look good. Oh, she's upset that you took the tattoo off. I hope you ex I hope you explain this to her afterwards or else she's gonna be traumatized and never get a tattoo uh, Later on down the line when she gets older. I think it's so cute how she was like, oh, what, are you, what are you doing mama? And side note when removing the Saniderm don't be peeling it up like that because you can actually affect the way the tattoo looks Pull down and away from the tattoo not up and over it because you'll rip out some ink and it'll, it won't look good All right, I have no idea what I'm looking at Couple's bite tattoo? What a, what? I have never seen this before in my life. He's tattooing the bite marks on the significant other. Oh my God, there's more. More people get this. Is this like a tattoo trend that I did not know about and I'm glad I didn't know about? This is just such a weird thing and it's, oh my God, it's kind of cringy too, don't you think? You definitely don't want to get your significant other's names tattooed on you and a close second will then be these bite tattoos because that is just weird like i'm all here for couple tattoos and getting something that represents the person you love but not their teeth marks this is just extremely strange i'm scrolling through the comment section and it's super hilarious but at the same time i do agree with this one person i did first think that the tattoo artist was biting the the client i'm like what is going on here things not to do for a tattoo next all right before, got a jacked up lion. That thing is jacked. Let's hope that uh, we get this thing fixed for, for, for your sake. Got a build up. Uh, okay. It flashed away for a quick second, but it literally looked like the tattoo artist just added a little bit of white highlights, which in, in their defense, it did make it a little bit better. It actually made it pretty a pretty good a significant it it made a pretty good big difference i will say that it went from like a three to maybe like a six or a seven out of ten um the white highlights really did make the tattoo pop out more he did the best that he can because i feel like you can't cover up this tattoo because of how big and how dark it is um so the route that they went where they just added the white ink really did do uh, a good job with it. But always go to a, a professional tattoo artist so you don't end up with something that bad and you have to go and get something um, fixed like this. <laughs> yeah, even the comments are saying the first one looks sad. So they agree. New tattoo removal looks like, ha ooh. Look at that ink just getting evaporated off the skin. He had a blackout tattoo all the way up to the his like last knuckle which is crazy. That cannot, that has to not feel good at all. It's almost a little satisfying to watch. At this point, it's just like, just keep it. I mean, unless you end up having like a job stopper, which this can be a job stopper, but man, that looks painful. I do wonder though, why he ended up just stopping at the very end of the finger. I know that probably didn't feel good to get tattooed around there, but I mean, come on, you, you got up to that point. You might as well just get the rest done. But looking at it as a glass half full, he did, you know, save some time and, and pain by not having to get that area tattooed because he just ended up getting it removed anyway. So, ugh, tongue tattoos. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going at all. Putting the stencil on. This is this is a very weird application, man. Like, who decides to get their tongue tattooed? I guess this person does. They don't last, so what's the point? Ooh, that has to end up hurting so bad. I couldn't understand what she was saying, but I mean, hey, 
For it being on the I tongue, it didn't look that. It doesn't look that bad. But I mean, one, I would have to say that the ink probably tastes as horrible as well as the stencil. I know me. I would probably be gagging just by them putting the stencil on me. But realistically, I mean, hey, if that's what you want to do. That you could do that. The healing of a tongue tattoo, I could only imagine. You probably like can't drink or can't eat or can't do anything for like I don't even know how long it would take for a tongue tongue to heal up. It is just line work, so it probably wouldn't take too long, but still. I mean that's probably just it probably sucks. I couldn't imagine it. A new tattoo I did, ugh, it looks like bruising, which this is actually becoming popular for some reason, like a bruising style tattoo. It actually looks very realistic. You got the Saniderm on there right now. But yeah, I mean, for what you went to go accomplished, it actually does look pretty damn realistic. If I was just looking at this piece and, and I saw your hand, I would think that you just ended up getting a little mad at something. Uh, maybe got mad at that person getting the uh, the tongue tattoo earlier and you decided Bruh. to punch the screen. Um, but yeah, those, those bruises, the bloody knuckles actually look really really realistic so as far as the application of what you wanted i think it's spot on yeah the, these bruising tattoos have been like becoming more and more popular i've been seeing them a lot more on instagram for some reason where people will get like a part of their body just tattooed as a bruise i don't know why you would want that but to each their own they could they could always you could always get what you want on your own body as weird as this may sound i think you should be you should be happy at, at the fact of how well this thing looked. I do like the comment that this person said. It's, this tattoo is called, I want people to consistently ask about what happened to my hand. Ah, tattoos, you could literally get whatever you want. And that's the beauty of the art form. I think that's enough for today. If you wanna watch more of me reacting to some tattoo TikToks, be sure to check this video out right here. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.